Okay, for the cut down kids version, you probably want to do something like this. It's not the best, but you know, it's um, sort of thing. So, uh, so, once you get it over the, the line, that's why the, the adult version is much better. But if you want to wind up or wind down the dipoles and activate the gravitrons, using Newton's third law, you might want to do something a bit like. <laughs> too much something like that yes okay is it yeah you know, is it reproducible oh, yep um, anyway you want to play around with that so that's that's the trick um, you, you, using Newton's third law but of course it, it's at 90 degrees because you know matter is actually uh, gyroscopic because it has spinning particles in it of course so that's probably you know so you can actually get gyroscopic nature from stuff that's not actually physical mass that's not actually spinning because within it it has spinning particles and by manipulating the the dipoles uh, you can actually change other part the direction of other particles and, and create a force at 90 degrees in other words it's like activating a your other pole in a way your hidden pole. Anyway, take those out of the way. The kids can work it all out. It's all colour coded, you see. Uh, it's not the best. You could probably do a lot better with you know, on, on a cut down version. But okay, so overnight we've done this. We've uh, glued and filleted it, put a bit of wood in there to make sure it's really firm and strong because you're going to need that. Otherwise, the super glue is not going to hold it. Um, yeah, you because know, you're going to create large forces and things like that, and things with magnets go flying off, and it will spoil the show, sort of thing. So even at this early stage, you'll see with this two-part invention, you'll see the. Uh, so basically, you want to go over the top. You see, that's that's basically what it is. It's like a, it's like a uh, uh, what do you call the. The, uh, what's the thing? The groove in the in the in the cog, or the gear is called the tooth. The tooth. So it's like a bit of like a tooth, but so you get it over to the next stage, and then it's just it's just basically like you just turn the wheel into basically uh, a, a gear in a way. But you want to add these. You can find out though. Now this isn't the. You can use your pop sticks to support these things. But these large ones, you think they will give more support, but they're thinner. And they don't actually give you the the support. So you want to use the old standard pop stick, which is thicker, and use two of them, probably two strips across the back, because you want to leave some space for here, sort of thing. So, so you want to put it on the no, wrong way around. That's it. Put it on here, and you want to line it up sort of a bit like that. So it goes once it goes over the top, and of course then you you'll put your next one in. whatever the way is, but I have to put it up this way because um, uh, that's why you need a discriminator to get you yourself around. So, you know, so basically you go over the top and it will do that. And that's all you need to do and that's it, it's done. So, you see, you just keep plugging these things out, but they have to be well glued, otherwise it's gonna fall apart. So that's, that's, that's been the major problem. And we can do our little dipole moment graviton thing if I can find my other discriminator which I've suddenly put down somewhere um where's my other one oh I'll, make, I'll just make up it doesn't matter just make up another one there we go is it the right one no that way around yep that way and you just put it on the side and it'll just make it go and really because you, 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 you to every action there's an equal and opposite it's reaction but in this case you're doing it at 90 degrees because you're you're flipping <laughs> You're spinning, spinning up or down the dipoles, and uh, then the, you get the, I suppose, you want to call them gravitrons, or what do you want to call? Go at 90 degrees, and that gives you your, your well, your, I don't want to call it gravitational force, but at 90 degrees, it's just a force, basically. So you want to do that, and uh, it becomes important though for when you get over 120 degrees, it gets so heavy. That's the only way you can get it started, really. Uh, but you can get it started with just these two, you know? So
So, um, yeah. Because those particles in there are very powerful, of course. That's how we get gravity, is it? You know, very powerful, you know. Bending of uh, space time continuum, the curvature of space time. Um, yeah, so uh, you change some particles and you get others to do other things and you can get forces at 90 degrees. Try it for yourselves, fellas. Don't believe me. Science has to be reproduced on your side of the planet, in your part of the universe. Go on. <laughs> Give yourself. Give yourself a couple of days holiday and work on this because uh, it's going to change the world. You do know that. Oh, wait, you, you, <laughs> the, 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 there's probably people running down the corridors, even as I speak, you know, with their you know, jaws sort of gaping, mouths open, and someone, you know, he's done it, he's done it, he's done it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, took a, it took a fallow summer, I think, just to sort of put it on the back burner. Um, bit like Mozart could put something on the back burner and then the next time he goes and do something it's like he's he's done it like 20 years has gone by but only a few years has gone by but he's put it on the back burner and it's like the next violin uh, sonata is like tw 20 years away from the last one because he's just put it on the back burner uh, yeah <laughs> I reckon he probably just connected something something from his childhood to the present day and that's why it seems like it's 20 years more advanced, but anyway, there you go. That's the answer, basically. And I'll, I'll slowly build. It's going to be a slow build, build fellas. We'll, we'll keep testing as we go around. And we get when we get to around about 120 degrees, it's going to get so heavy that you think those things can't move it. But I'll do that trick, and you'll see it. There'll be like like a slight time delay as the dipoles spin up or down, and the other particles come into play.